I recently had an interesting project that had a problem sent to me by a composer where they had an orchestral sequence as a backing track and they wanted to record a live violin over top of it. But the problem was the violin recording was completely out of time with the sequence. And they wanted to know if there was some magic way to have the violin automatically follow the timing of the sequence. And of course, there's had to be done within an hour. So let's take a listen to the project here. So we'll start off with our sequence. And we'll see our violin track here. So we can kind of get a sense of the tempo. And now when you listen to just the violin recording, it's kind of a slower tempo and not really matching up. So we listen to them together. It's completely out of time. And of course there is a tight deadline. So they wanted to know if there's some magic way to keep the realness of this violin and match it up to the tempo of the orchestral track. So what we could do is I'm gonna just slide this over in time and I'm gonna do a tempo detection. Um, when we listen to this, the metronome that they have is set for a 6 8. But it could actually work as a 4 4 piece. So I'm going to select this clip, go to my project menu, and do a tempo detection. And we're going to do an analysis of that audio file. And now when we listen to it, And what we want to do is to actually define where the 4-4 starts. So I think there's gonna be a pickup note here, so we listen to it. And at this point, we will put our 4-4 time here. And as we listen to it. So we've extracted the tempo of the particular audio file there. And what we want to do is to figure out what the tempo is of this particular violin recording. So again, I'm gonna to go to the project and choose tempo detection. We'll analyze that. So we see these tempo changes directly there. We'll close that. And what I want to do now is go to the audio menu and we're gonna to go to advanced and say, set definition from tempo. And what this does is we could save this metadata instead of having the audio file be one particular tempo that's static, this will allow you to have dynamic tempo events embedded within the project for the audio file or written directly into the audio file itself. And then it's gonna place this into musical time base. So I hit okay. And now what I want to do is to have this audio file automatically follow the tempo changes of this particular background recording. So let's zoom in and let's see if we can get this kind of lined up. So as we do this. And at this point, we'll just get this lined up Now this audio file is matching the tempo extracted from the orchestral. And if we wanted to listen to the original tempo, I could just select this audio file and from the project info line, uncheck musical mode and we'll listen to what it was again without the tempo warping and placing this in musical mode. So you can see that you could take two different recordings with completely different tempos and have them match up very easily inside of Cubase using the audio warp functionality in just a matter of minutes. 
If you have found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.